Okay guys, so we're just gonna jump right into it and start off with a slip knot. And for this particular swimsuit, my customer wanted a size large. So I chained 45 for the back of the bottom to cover her butt. Um, so yeah, that's just what I'm gonna do now. I already started my slip knot and I'm going to chain a simple 45. Once I do that, I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to half double crochet all the way back across. And I'm also skipping the first loop to create a decrease, which will create that triangular shape that you see um, in bathing suit bottoms. It's, you know, it's not just like a square, it is a triangle. So I'm just going to show you a closer look here. If you're not sure what the half double crochet is, you wrap your yarn around, put it through the hook, wrap your yarn around one more time pull through one then wrap your yarn around again and pull through the remaining three on the loop Here you can see um, what it's like to decrease so you just skip that first one and go into the second from the hook and just continue with your half double crochets all the way across and then you do that all the way until you get down to about seven or eight rows depending on the size for a small um, for the part that covers the actual vagina area, I like to do five or six because um, I'm smaller but some women are larger and need more coverage. So here I'm just going to do seven or eight across, no decreasing. Um, and again, this will be that midsection part that will cover her actual private area. So do this five or six times and then we'll start to increase to cover the front. And just a quick disclaimer, as I said, my customer asked for a size large. She also gave me her specific measurements, but I always recommend to get measurements from your customers. Use a tape measure, do whatever you have to do because everyone is not the same size. Now I'm just going to show you how I'm doing my increase. I'm half double crocheting all the way to the end. Then I'm going to chain one, turn my work and half double crochet into the last loop and that'll just create a slight increase not too much because i don't like a lot of coverage in the front i don't want it to be bulky i just want it to be just enough so do whatever works for you play with it a little bit you can go into the last one you can do two um single crochets and turn it around that way increase as much as you want but like i said for me in the items that i make I like them to cut right into that crease that we have. I don't like my material to go outside of that crease because it just looks bulky to me. It just looks like too much. I just like it to be, you know, not too skimpy, but just perfect if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. And I always recommend that you get a mannequin. That always helps me. That's usually my guide. Um, yeah, but now we just have a simple crochet bathing suit bottom and we're going to start making it a one piece. So here, I hope that it doesn't get a little tricky, but I will be using um, double crochet. So I'm just going to chain four extra ones at the end. And you can also use a treble crochet if you know what that is. And I'm sorry that it, it obviously cut off on the camera, but I'm just going to go into that last loop. I chained four, now I'm going into the last loop with a double crochet. And I'm going to double crochet um, five more across. So I skipped one, chain one, skip a loop, double crochet. Chain one, skip a loop, and then double crochet in the next loop. So yeah, I obviously didn't realize where my camera position was and it was kind of bad, but here you can kind of see hopefully a little bit of what I did. So I'm just chaining one again, skipping one, and that's why I created 
a little bit more space in between my chains because I was chaining one and skipping one. So now I'm just going to chain two or three and then go back across with my double crochets again and that's just going to create that mesh style. And here we are with the mannequin. As I said, I'm not perfect. I hate using patterns. I didn't learn how to crochet like that. So I'm just going to go in with the mannequin and see exactly where it fits on her. Generally, women don't, or at least the women that I crochet for, don't really have long torsos. So now we're going to stop and go on with the bra part. So for this part, she wanted a little bit of under boob. Um, and I've done styles like this before. So now we are going to create create the bra part and my customer told me that she wore a size C. So for those I usually do between um, 16 and 19 double crochet or half double crochet sorry. So I'm just going to half double crochet all the way back across to create a solid foundation for the under boob part. And above the mesh part, I just chained an extra six or seven because as you can see, I did not have enough um, stitches that would cover her boob size. So I added a few on the end. So now I'm just going back across into those double crochets and forcing um, half double crochets so we can create the part that will cover her breasts. And here is a closer look. Since we didn't do half double crochets in the row prior, we kind of have to force them in the row above. So I'm just making my half double crochets in that row and going in wherever I can um, so that we can start with the bra part. So now we have our foundation for the under boob and we want to create, um, we're going to go back across the other way for the under boob part. So I'm just counting my chains here and whatever amount of chains you did, you want to do three or four less than that. So you just want to go and start a regular chain that is not connected to the half double crochet and since I did um, 18 I want to chain just 15 off the hook and we're going to connect it to the other side and that will give the under boob illusion so again if even if you did 12 um, for an A cup you would want to do 9 and that seems really small but just to give you an idea of what exactly I'm doing so yeah here again I'm just going to go with the chain across and then I'll show you how to connect it to the other side and what it will look like on the mannequin. Okay, so I have my 15 complete and I'm just going to go in with a slip stitch to the opposite side on the last stitch. I'm just going to take my yarn, wrap it around and pull all the way through both of those stitches that are on my hook and there you have the under boob part and we're just going to continue with our half double crochets all the way back across um, the stitches. I don't even know how to explain it. The stitches that are not all connected. And this will make total sense guys if you need to watch this two times. Please do it if you need to write down measurements and numbers for yourself or for your customer. If you need to hold the yarn up to yourself then do that. This is how I learned how to crochet and I feel like this is how I know how to literally make anything, look at anything and know how to make it by just trial and error. I don't rely on any single pattern. I don't rely on any single person. I do whatever I need to do to make it work. If I need to take it all out, I will. If I think it looks stupid, 
you know I'll start over and that's what I want for all of you guys to just learn how to crochet and learn how to do different things that look nice but not because someone gave you specific measurements so this is what it looked like if I just kept going I kept um, decreasing and skipping that first half double crochet um, and just doing two less into the next rows and like I said um, I'll show you what it looks like on the mannequin so now I'm just going to continue up with my single crochet and that will create the tie that will connect with the other breast part that will tie around our neck And to create the ties that will tie around your neck, um, you can just chain 50 to 70. That should be long enough. You don't want it to hang too far down your back. Now I'm just going to take another slip knot and we are going to clean up the edges and create a tie for the middle um, that will connect the two breast cups together. So here I'm just creating the slip knot and I'm going to insert my hook. So yes, we're going to clean up the edge so it looks more neat and you don't see um, the ragged edges that the half double crochet created. So just insert um, the chain into the edge and we're just going to do a single crochet all the way down. All the way down um, the all, all of the pattern. So even down the mesh part. And that will just clean it up, make it look a little bit more neat. Here's a closer look. So I know you're wondering how we're going to connect the front to the back, the top to the bottom and just make this thing come all together. So I'm actually just going to start on the opposite side and clean up that edge and then that's going to bring me all the way around um, to where I can start it off. So if you want to clean up your edges separately, please try that. If you have any questions, please email me or leave them down in the comments below. But yes, I'm going to clean up the opposite edge that I did the tie for the neck on um, so both sides look neat and you don't just have one raggedy side and one clean side so I will meet you guys on the opposite end when we're ready to start the back portion okay and here we are I'm just going to chain three or four so that was four now I'm going to again skip one and do my double crochet into the next one chain one skip one do my double crochet into the one after the one I skipped chain one skip one double crochet do that for about six times on the back we did it for about four times on the front but I just like my back to be a little bit bigger a little bit thicker as you can see and then it gets thinner as we go or we do less chains less chains sorry um the more we get to the top so you will end up decreasing one if you want to or you can do as many as you want like I said you can switch up the pattern you can just do one chain um or one single crochet chain all the way up if you want do whatever you want and tag me in your pictures whenever you guys make these because I really love to see how you all switch it up how you just go beyond you know what I recommend that you do and that's really, really what I love to see in crochet is just a lot of different variations a lot of different um, creativity and, and stuff like that so yeah I'm just going to continue like I said all the way up until it is long enough to connect with the opposite side and I'll see you guys once I get to the top
okay so this is what we have so far we made a crochet bottom very simple we went up with the mesh um, and then we did the side boot part and now we don't really have anything connect to connect the sides to one another or the two middle pieces so we're just going to create a slip knot and we're going to go in with a few chains um, on each of the bra parts to connect those two to one another and again I just created a simple slip knot I'm going to go in with the slip knot on the edge of the bra part in the middle um, to give my customer a chance to tie the two pieces together or she can leave them dangling if she wants to but if she wants to but I do like to give the option because that's how I wore mine when I went on vacation and I think I will actually um, insert some videos or pictures of when I wore this when I made this for myself so yes So again we don't have anything to connect um, the front and the back together so I'm just going to create a chain super long chain um, you can do somewhere between 100 and 120 again you don't want it to be too long but I really think this adds and gives the swimsuit a little bit more accent so once you create two of those we're going to create tassels to go on the end to really just spice up and give it a little bit more personality if you will so to do that you will need a needle now we're just going to thread the ends or you could just do one end of um, the chain you're gonna go in with the thread at the end of the chain and you're gonna need scissors for this part as well to create a tassel so just thread that part go all the way in and then you're going to cut a piece and leave the other piece um, dangling and again it'll make more sense hopefully you know once you see me do it so the pieces in the middle that you see me leaving are going to end up being the tassel um, shingles I don't even know what they're called I guess just regular tassels but the circle that we're doing here is going to you know those pieces that are hanging down are going to be the tassel pieces and again I will cut those pieces so it will be more clear but you just want to keep going in and out and in and out and threading up that end piece with your thread so that you'll have the tassel pieces at the end and you can do as many tassel pieces as you want um, I don't like mine to be that thick I just need enough to make a statement So once you snip those pieces of yarn in the middle you just want to take a longer piece of yarn um, so you could tie it around so here I think that was the last tassel so yeah I'm just snipping off the end of the thread and I'm just going to take a long piece of yarn and tie it around the tassel so it's actually stable the, the pieces don't come out just tie a knot and then we're just going to clip off the ends I'm um, gonna make it look a little bit more neat so all the tassel ends are the same length and you know it's just not looking raggedy. So here I want you to ignore my bed but I did put her on my mannequin even though she is a size large and my mannequin is rather small. I just want to show you how I'm going to use um, the very long string to connect the front to the back and it was kind of difficult to do it with the tassel on the end so you could create the tassel once you've already looped um, the string together but we're just going to shoestring it pretty much so the same way you lace up your shoestring you want to go in on the left then go in on the opposite side with the same string um, just to create that zigzag kind of shoestring tie up look
and this is the final 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 product we have the pieces in the middle the pieces on the sides the crochet bottom that we added mesh to um, the crochet back that we tied to the front um, it's really all over the place to be honest but I really think it comes together all together to just be beautiful I did use a different color scheme and this is what it looked like when I wore it so if you guys have questions leave them down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye Make this left. If you listen, you'll learn.